cute and cuddly plushy or super secret storage? Why not both? Over 15 years ago, I made a hidden USB soft toy for my sister. I'm not sure where the inspiration came from, but I think it was even a commercial product at one stage. Either way, USB storage capacity has come a long way since then, and I thought it would be a super fun project to revisit. This adorable plushie looks normal until uh, you pull its head off and shove the body into a USB port on your computer. It really does look ridiculous, but could be a great fun way to hide sensitive data in plain sight. To make your own, you'll need the following materials. A plush toy. Now this is important. Take careful note of the neck area and overall size and weight of the toy. You want something small and light to avoid putting too much strain on the USB port. So after careful searching, I found this willing volunteer in the pet toy section of Kmart. USB stick choice is also really important. Things have changed a lot since the days of the body of the USB housing actually having any electronics in it. Now, they're mostly completely built on a single small PCB, which is only in the USB portion of the device, which means the body is completely hollow. And for our project to work, we need one with a sturdy looking removable lid. I found that these verbatim store and go sticks were perfect. They're available from 16 to 64 gigs and maybe even more. But most importantly, they have a simple form factor that we can easily work with. Because on Maker's Muse, we're all about empowering creativity through technology, you'll also need access to a 3D printer to produce the mounting rings. Now, I understand not everyone can do this, so you can get away with tracing outlines onto a thin piece of plastic if you have to, but really a 3D printed support will ensure a long lasting and durable end product. So if you have access to one at a library or a friend or a makerspace, that would be ideal. These parts really don't take that long to print at all. A hot glue gun to secure the USB in place and a needle and some thread to attach our device into the plush toy's body. I just bought a low cost patch kit. It has a nice range of colors to use, but yeah, anything will do. And of course, a large pair of sharp scissors. It should come as no surprise that I take no responsibility should you try to make one of these and something happens, you hurt yourself or your hardware, because when you stick large objects out of delicate computer ports and you're not careful, things can break, so yeah. The first step is to 3D print the USB stick mounts. To get the profile as perfect as possible, I trace the outline of the lid onto some 5mm spacing grid paper. I then scanned it into my computer and brought it into Fusion 360 as a scanned image and then you can scale it perfectly using the grid as a reference to get an exact profile of the USB lid. This is a really handy tip I use all the time to get complicated shapes into CAD. I used splines to then trace the line and produce the first test part. The final version has large holes for sewing onto the plush body and a tab to help lock the USB stick and lid into place. The fit of the USB body and lid needs to be tight, but we don't want to force it and risk breaking the plastic, so trim this tab to get it nice and snug. Hot glue doesn't stick all that well to smooth plastic, so I rough the lid up with some side cutters to give the glue something to bite into. And you don't need much hot glue, but this will help prevent the USB stick from pulling free from the body when it's inserted into a computer. Next, we want to take our willing sacrifice aside and carefully identify the area you want to cut aiming for a narrow portion that will be able to be sewn back together cleanly afterwards. Kids, you might want to look away for this bit. With our plush toy now headless, we can carefully insert the USB body and prep the sewing needle. Sewing is a skill that I could be better at, but as long as you double up the thread and start with a few loops and a tight knot, your seam will be strong enough for our purposes. The trick here though, is to make sure that each jump between the fabric and plastic is even around the entire outline, so we don't end up with the USB mount being lopsided. You also want to ensure that the fabric is being joined at the bottom or sides of our ring and not on top, because that will prevent the lid from securing it properly. Uh, it took me two goes to get this right, so don't worry, just take your time, and once it's complete, we're halfway there. We do the lid next, and once complete, take your scissors and carefully remove any daggy bits of fabric or thread, taking care not to cut the actual sewn threads you just did. If you're skilled at sewing, you may choose to put more work into the seam, prevent it from possibly fraying in future, 
but honestly, I'm super stoked with how well this turned out. With your hidden USB plushie, you can take it anywhere and people will be none the wiser, except when they see it decapitated and sticking out of your computer's USB port. 3D printing files are listed below if you want to make this yourself, and the Source Fusion 360 files are available on Patreon if you're interested in modifying them for your specific needs, for example with a custom USB or a completely different shaped suture ring. If you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to subscribe here on Make This Music. It's my aim to empower your creativity through technology. I look forward to seeing you again very shortly. Catch you later, guys. Bye.